the studio when I was 16, uh, we rented a garage uh, from my neighbour whose son was Thomas Kinsler, the famous Irish poet. I just fell into painting, I just loved painting, I loved art. Um, I went to the, National, the Royal College of Art in Dublin, the equivalent. I lasted three weeks at Knight College, I just didn't like artists. <laughs> you didn't like your fellow artists? I didn't like, yeah, I just didn't like art, I didn't like the whole thing. So basically I just basically did a lot of reading, went to a lot of museums, galleries, and just self-taught myself. Well, from an early stage, I was looking at the works of Mark Toby, uh, Robert Motherwell, obviously Jackson Pollock, Lee Krasner. I love American Expressionism. And when I came to London, I discovered Alan Davy, John Hoyland, you know, Dennis Bowen, so these very strong artists. I was very much influenced by the, uh, the Book of Kells. Uh, for those who don't know the Book of Kells, it's like a book of ours. It's a magnificent illustra illustration. It's probably one of the gems in the world. It's a beautiful book. Uh, just happened to be the Irish monks that did it, but it's a rare, rare book, and the images in there are crazy. It's an, you know, if you don't learn from that, you won't learn art. You know, if, you have an, if you have a natural eye for art, Book of Kells is a beautiful, beautiful book. Then I got into Book of Hours, which you know, the Book of Hours, which are religious books, I got into them. I love iconic, I love iconic art, religious iconic art, I got into that. Then I found you know, George Rowe and people like that with a strong stained glass window type of effect. Uh, sadly, with some of the bigger works that you just saw recently, um, No Tears Old, Forgotten Man, uh, The Final Solution 2016, a lot of us from the media, this kind of crazy, screwed up world we lived in. Okay. That's come about because I'm, I've got reduced mobility, I've got shark and married toot, right. and um, I find it harder and harder to stand in front of a canvas, and when I'm in front of a canvas I like to be a very physical artist. I can still paint on canvas, but with the iPad, I actually got inspired by that through um, watching David Hockney. There was an RA Academy show, and he, you know, he's a wonderful, wonderful artist. I love his work, right? I love his work to death. I love his earlier work more so than his more accomplished works, you know. Um, his more accomplished works to me are more society works, whereas his earlier works when he was a student were just raw. They were yeah, from the heart, you know. Um, but he, did, he was shown this thing about doing brushes, about doing painting digitally. And I was kind of confused because I couldn't understand his palette. And when he explained that he used brushes, I got hold of a copy of brushes, the apps, which is very inexpensive. Um, and then I saw, okay, you paint with this palette. It's not your palette that you have in your box of paints. This yeah. is a different kind of palette. And then I just had the confidence to just do my thing. Because if you look at the colours in the works and then look at the colours on the digital prints, they're different. Sure. And that's because of the different palette. Well, I like the Taulux series. You've got five of them here. That's a set of 14. The black and white, the monochrome images. Oh yes, they were exhibited yeah. in the solo exhibitions. Of yeah, in Dublin. Uh, Tower is the Gaelic name for Tower. It's where I went to school. Right. And it was a very ancient site. A very, and it had the uh, the monastery there, Saint Mary Room, eighth ninth century. And it was actually like you know you talk about Ireland being the Ireland of Saints and scholars. It's where all the princes came to be educated in Europe. You know they, right. they were that was the Celtic centre for, for for the whole of Europe, right? And uh, it was forgotten. Sure. And I was just, I mean, it's, a, it's in one of the videos that I'm on, right, but uh, I was going down memory lane looking at Tala. Uh, I saw the biggest achievement it had was uh, on one day it sold the most dominoes in the world. <laughs> right. And that, that's the only thing it's got key to fame. <laughs> yeah. yeah, everyone's forgotten about the monastery, everyone's forgotten about the thing. But it's a lot of dominoes. Yeah, so I just did a bit of research and I produced that set of paintings. They were shown in Rural Red, which is an amazing gallery in Tala. It's a new contemporary gallery, state of the art, beautiful gallery. And, you know, I, I'm very proud of that set of paintings. It took me a year to do them. They're made of micro cemento and acrylic. It's kind of a new process. Yeah. I believe that artists are gifted with some other energy that comes through you. Mm. Um, there are people who paint who don't require artists, and there are people who paint who are artists. Mm. I believe I'm lucky in that I paint because I'm an artist as a gift. I feel like I've done something and did that come from me? And that's a genuine, like I'm, I'm humble in that sense. Mm. I, don't, I don't boast about what I produce, I'm humble that I'm part of the process. I can't do paintings to order, I, I don't do chocolate box paintings, I don't do repeat paintings, I do what I do.